We're celebrating a very special birthday here on The Early Show. The Office Cubicle turns 40 this month. For some, it means another dull day at work, but for others, it means playing pranks on their coworkers. This is not funny. Why is my stuff in here? Wow, that's weird. Ooh, dollar for a stapler, that's pretty good. Yeah, well, I'm not paying for my own stuff. Okay, I know you did this because you're friends with the vending machine guy. Who, oh, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! Damn. Okay, uh, hold on, hold on. Judge is in session. What is the problem here? You put my stuff in jello again. <laughs> Where is my desk? That is weird. This is totally unprofessional. Okay, well, you're the one who lost the desk. Mm, joining me now to talk more about office pranks is John Austin, the author of Cubicle Warfare, a collection of 101 office traps and pranks. And he's with us live in the studio this morning. Happy Cubicle anniversary. Thank you, Harry. Welcome yeah. to work. Yeah. What, uh, how, what makes you the expert on cubicle warfare? Well, um, I have a background in toy design at Hasbro Toys, uh -huh. and it's a very creative environment. Right. And we just started so you guys goofed off all the time. Well, it's toy design, so you yeah. work hard and you yeah. play a little bit harder. Right, yeah. And, um, so show me some stuff that would be in the banks. I mean, is yeah, this definitely. like the, the, the Lao Tzu the, or whatever, the, what, the, what was the Sun Tzu, the Chinese warfare manual? Is that the same thing that would apply to the office? Definitely. This is a tactical manual. There's okay. 350 drawings yeah. in there. It's really, yeah. really basic. One of them. Um, what would I do with that? Tin foil. This is, yeah. a, you know, this is a classic right here. Get a couple rolls of these and just start tin foiling everything in your, your associate's office. Stay, you know, late one night or early one morning and I just like cover that. everything. The I desk. like that. Yeah, because then they have to yeah. come in and they their have to apple, undo it all. Their mug. Although it's not environmentally friendly, I should say. You are correct about that. What else? What else? Uh, another one is um, the tuna. You open up tuna. Do you know this? Do you guys know this? <laughs> Do you know about this? This is really good. Check this you out. You open up the can of tuna right. and then you duct tape it to the bottom of the chair. Right. So the guy sits down and he starts, you know, typing. There's an aroma that fills his office and eventually it's like he's looking around and you never look at the bottom of your chair for a can of tuna, would you, Harry? That's so gross. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is really good. Bad. I like that. So you just duct tape it to Correct. the bottom. Nobody knows. No. And it really stinks. You yes. could have probably figure some other things out to stick under there. Another one is um, real simple called mm. Simi. Mm -hmm. And you stay late one night and you fill about 30 of these Simi right. Harry. Yeah. And then you go around to your associate's offices. Oh, it's everybody else's yep. cubicles? 29 different Put monitors. Yeah. And the next morning you sit down and you start your day and about 29 people come to your office like, Harry, you want to see me? You're like, right. no, I didn't want to see you. It's oh, like, that's good. What's in there? Well, I don't know. You pick it up. You, got, I... you got some mail, Harry. Oh, look at this. <laughs> says Mr. Harry Smith, CBS. <laughs> little... I hate that. Real simple. Everybody really likes hate that. Everybody likes mail. I really, really, <laughs> really, really, really hate that. Right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And that was mild. You can fill it up with popcorn seeds, yeah. coffee beans. I mean, you can even go up the ladder if you that want. Was so. really, that's really good. And Real I simple. I really, really, really hate that. And so. I may never invite you back again. <laughs> but that's good. That's great. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Harry, for having happy, me. Happy birthday. Thank you. Your cubicle. John Austin, thanks. And to read an excerpt from Cubicle Warfare, go to our website.